about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 All right, guys. About to make me a smoothie and get ready to go train. Put my camera right here. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers. Now, before we start the video, guys, these shirts right here are in stock at tigerfitness.com. Be sure to go to tigerfitness.com. Get your Pump Chaser subs. And my birthday is actually March 31st, which is today. So we're doing a sale for Thursday and Friday. Type in pump20 at checkout at tigerfitness.com for these new limited edition t-shirts and pump chaser subs. The code also works for pumpchasers.com and it works for beastmode316.com. So if you want some clothes from pump chasers or some wrist wraps from pump chasers, or if you want to be one of my online macro-based clients, you want a program, you want a meal plan, the code works pump20 at checkout at beastmode316.com and pumpchasers.com as well. So go to tigerfitness.com for Friday and Saturday and beastmode316.com and pumpchasers.com. That code is gonna work all the way up to Sunday. And thank you to everybody in advance who's showing me some love and supporting me on my birthday, okay? I turned 37, by the way, in case you happen to give a fuck. So, like I just said, I turned 37 and guys, I've been working out for quite some time. You know, I've been working out since I was young, off and on. You know, you know, doing little push-ups around, you know, doing little push-ups around the house, you know, little dumbbells in the garage. But I officially, I made it official that I was gonna make bodybuilding a part of my life. That I was gonna be married to this bodybuilding game to the day I die. To death do us part. I made that commitment at 19 years old, and it has been a journey. I am now 37 years old, so that's almost 20 years of lifting seriously. Okay, been a lot of trial and error. Hey, Bruno. It's been a lot of, let me show y'all Bruno real quick. Been a lot of trial and error, guys, and I want to give you guys three tips. Because I've seen, quite frankly, I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've said this many times, guys. A bodybuilder is born every day. There's going to be somebody waking up for the first time that's going to hop on the internet looking for some advice that wants to get into bodybuilding for the first time. And you know, there's going to come in that point where expectation meets reality. And sometimes people go through that crossroad moment and they just give up. Uh, sometimes people realize it's too hard and they just give up. Or quite frankly, they just realize it's not for them and they just give up. I want to give you guys three tips that's going to help you stay in the iron game long term. Because like I've said many times, this is a lifestyle. I am literally married to this shit. Till death do us part. I will never stop lifting. Period. So let me give you guys three tips that's going to help you stay in this game long term. Let me go ahead and give you some bodybuilding wisdom. Tip number one. If you want to stay in this game long term, you have to be inspired. You have to be inspired. You know, you have to have passion for this, meaning you got to love it. If you don't love it, you won't stay with this long term. You know, one of my favorite golden era bodybuilders, he has this quote that I live by. And it goes something like this. I'm probably paraphrasing, but it goes something like this. When you love something, you don't need motivation. And I believe that 100%. You got to truly love this, guys. Also, you need to have your why. You really want to be inspired. You have to have your why. And your why needs to be deeply rooted within you. And let me give you, let me try to explain what I mean by deeply rooted within you. When you look for external sources of uh, inspiration, meaning um, you're doing this shit, let's say for an example, you're doing this shit to please others, right? But there's gonna come time and a point in your life, 
especially as a man where you got to realize other people's opinions of you doesn't mean jack shit. Other people's opinions of you don't keep you warm at night. Other people's opinions of you don't pay your fucking bills. There's going to come a point in your life where you're going to stop really giving a fuck what other people think of you. And let's just say if your inspiration is deeply rooted by other by receiving attention from others, that inspiration is going to have an expiration date because like I said, one day you're going to wake up and realize the attention of others doesn't really mean that much to you. Or if you do this shit for girls, you're going to find out you don't really have to be the most jacked guy in the world to get girls. So if you're doing this shit to get girls and you realize, damn, you don't even got to be in that great of a shape to really get women, you're going to start losing your inspiration. So you, inspiration has to be deeply rooted within you. You have to really do this shit for yourself. So find your why. I cannot give you your why. This body, your mind, those are your tools. And you have to fuel those tools. Okay? You have to fuel your mind. Your inspiration has to come for you. Let me give you, uh, I have several things that keep me going, but let me give you one of them. You know, one of them is I'm really addicted to self-improvement. I am very addicted to self-improvement. You know, I can't help how tall I am. It is what it is. I can't help how tall I am. I can't help a lot of things about myself. But one thing I can do, I can work on the things that I can control. You know, I can go make some money. I can keep my hygiene up. I can keep my physique up. I am, I'm a true believer in don't dwell on bullshit that you can't control. But really work on the things that you can control. Especially if those things bother you. Let me say that one more time. Do not dwell about bullshit you can't control, but work on the things that you can control, especially if they bother you. So rule number one out of three, you got to have passion and love for this shit. You got to have your why, and that why has to be deeply rooted within yourself, okay? So tip number two, goal setting. Trust me, guys, I make this mistake many times. Just going to the gym, just to be going, that shit's going to get old very quick, okay? It's going to really be hard to um, get that spark within yourself, to push yourself when you don't really have some kind of goal. Now, you don't have to have big goals. Just make small goals, like maybe write a journal, or there's a lot of apps in people's phone. Back in my day, we had journals. We didn't have cell phone apps and shit, but there's a lot of apps in your phone. Track your progress. Maybe say, okay, this is how many times I can bench 185, right? Let's try to add four reps to this shit in two months with clean reps. Or you can do something like I've been doing lately because I'm a veteran lifter. You know, I've been really, really trying to perfect my form. So I've been working on slower negatives on everything, even squats. Be looking out for my leg video very soon. I've been working on my form on everything. If you, anybody follow my Instagram stories, you already know this. I've been slowing down the negatives on my incline bench. You know, because for one, it puts more stress on the muscle, and two, less chances of injury. We'll talk about that in another video. But set small goals for yourself. Maybe even, uh, you know, Book, get yourself booked up for a photo shoot if you have if you want to get shredded for the first time and you have a hard time finding that motivation to stay to stay on top of your diet. You know, start setting small goals for yourself, whether it be strength based goals or rep based goals or form based goals or you're getting ready for an event, a photo shoot. Set some kind of goals that's going to keep you inspired to train harder. OK, so point I'm trying to make is. Add some intent and purpose into your training. And you add the intent and purpose in your training by setting some kind of goals, whether they be big goals or uh, small goals. Just don't go to the gym just to be going. Have some kind of goals in mind when you're on your grind. So number two, set goals. And the third one, and this is very important, the third one is discipline. And to be real with you, I'm not going to lie, uh, sometimes in the back of my mind, I don't even like really using that word because I feel like this word is overused. And when a word is overused, it kind of loses, uh, it kind of loses 
it kind of loses intent intensity. You know, I feel like a word kind of loses its, its, its intensity when it's overused or misused. But discipline is very important, guys. Let me tell you why discipline is very important. Discipline is very important because it locks down habits. It locks down habits. Let me tell you something. There's going to come a time where motivation just isn't enough. You know, I don't really like depending on motivation because motivation is like seasons. Motivation is like waves in the ocean for surfers. You know, they come and go. There's going to be times where you're just motivated. You know, you know how it is. I can't speak for everybody, but there are times where I would watch a Ronnie Coleman video, you know, and they would just crank me the fuck up and I'm ready to go fuck up some legs. But then there's times I watch that same video and it does nothing for me. You know, sometimes motivation ain't going to do it. Just for whatever reason, you can have stress in your personal life. You can just not be feeling it that week. Whatever the case may be, sometimes motivation won't get you there. But that discipline will because you're literally locking down habits. See, when you do something for a long extended period of time, your brain creates patterns. Not only do they create patterns, but the bond the bond you're creating within your mind is constantly strengthening because you're doing that same pattern over and over and over and over again. One thing about the brain, it does not like being in a state of discomfort. And you place your brain in a state of discomfort when you break patterns. That's why it's really hard for no disrespect for, pat, for fat people to get in shape because they created the long time habits of eating whatever they want sitting around watching their favorite TV shows. It creates chemicals in the brain, it creates patterns, and it's really hard to break those patterns. You know, it works negatively and positively, so you gotta be careful. Negative, pa negative patterns and positive patterns are both hard to break. That's why I, I know a lot of you guys can relate. You know, sometimes you'll go to a point where you take a rest day and you feel guilty. How many of y'all have done that? How many of you guys have taken a rest day and felt guilty? Or how many of you guys have, you know, felt real achy and sore and you might have taken a few extra days off, but you literally hated yourself for it? It's not necessarily because you got a mental problem. It's because you've created habits and you're literally taking your brain out of its harmony. Your brain has gotten used to that harmony it's created because of the patterns you've constantly done over and over and over and over again. And when you're not putting it back into that rhythm that it's used to, you're placing it in a state of discomfort. So use this knowledge to your advantage. You know, just like drug addicts or overweight people have a hard time breaking those negative patterns, use that to your advantage. Create good patterns for yourself by locking down discipline, doing shit over and over and over and over again with constant repetition, month after month, year after year, it's gonna become very hard to break those patterns. Discipline will keep you in the game when motivation fails you. Let me say that one more time. Discipline will keep you in the game when motivation fails you because patterns are hard to break when you have done them for a long extended period of time. So there it is guys, rule number one, passion and love and find your why. Rule number two, set goals, big ones or small ones, just set goals. And rule number three, achieve discipline. Just like you have repetition in the gym, doing the same movement over and over again, you gotta create the same lifestyle patterns. You gotta create the same lifestyle patterns and you gotta do them over and over and over again to lock those patterns down. Trust me, this shit will change your life. Those are three tips that's gonna help you stay in the iron game long term. Be sure to comment below, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any tips, why don't you comment below? Let us read some of your thoughts. And if there's any videos or any topics you want me to cover, comment below and I'll do a video. I'm trying to really get back into my groove of posting more fitness related videos for you guys. And don't forget, birthday sale this Thursday or Friday at TigerFitness.com. We got the new limited edition t-shirt and the sale is going to be good all the way to Sunday at BeastMode316.com. 
and palmchaser.com. Thank you in advance for everybody that support me on my birthday, and we'll see you at the next video. Give a shout out to Bruno. Hey, Bruno. Well, there he is, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and holler back at your boy. Peace.